I've got something to show you today that is amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. It uh, I've been using Linux off and on, you know, here and there. And there's one thing I hate about it, the GNOME desktop environment. But what I'm about to show you is so good, it has me using GNOME. Never thought I'd say that, uh, but here we are. So let's get on the desktop, not waste any time, and show you my new Linux desktop that I absolutely love. So this is my new desktop, uh, <laughs> and I'm getting back into this. I, I, I originally started my Linux experience in Fedora, and that's what this is, Fedora 35, as uh, the making of this video. I'll upgrade as it uh, upgrades to its versions. And usually what I like to do, just like I do in KDE and other instances, I have four different virtual desktops. I like these static, but you can assign these dynamically. Uh, you, typically what I do is my browser in one, uh, my terminal in the second one, and then I usually, the third one's kind of a floating one, depending on what I'm doing. I might have like GIMP open for it or something else. Uh, for now, we'll just go ahead and toss files up. And then for my fourth and final one, I like to put in like a Steam or, or put my gaming one right here and this launches into my steam and then I can play my games and the nice thing between this is it's not really a, a tiling window manager but it acts like it uh, so up in the top right here you'll notice we have a bunch of options we have maximize tab mode we have split where if you want to split screen you would have two programs open on the same workspace you do that you can do half or if you want just the traditional like windows-esque uh, floating desktop you just have it on this and it'll float uh, i'm going to leave this on maximized actually because uh, that's kind of I, I like the maximize tabbed approach to where if i let's say i open up g edit and i just did that with like the windows key of this and then we can just tab between these on workspace four workspace three workspace two workspace one and i know hey oh you know what i want to show off come into here and just type a neo fetch i know that's workspace two and i have it all kind of mapped out in my mind or let's say i'm over here and i'm like you know what uh, i want to change some of this because i don't like the way this looks or you know sometimes the uh, I want to change the actual material shell. Well, first things up, if you don't want uh, static workspaces, that's more of a traditional tweaks or gnome tweaks is what you need. Uh, you have to install this after uh, this. And you can see we have the floating one up here. So we will probably go to workspaces. And then if we want a dynamic to where it'll expand, let's say you want to open up 10 workspaces and you're just a chaotic person and you don't like the static I have, just put dynamic and then it'll just open up as many as you need uh, just by clicking a plus sign down here. Uh, so if we did dynamic, you can see now we can do five, six, seven, 20. It doesn't matter. Uh, I just like to limit mine to four. That forces me to kind of maintain my system. And that's my how my brain works and yours just might work a little differently. Uh, also, you want might, might want to change some stuff with the shell. I've reduced the size because I don't like really big title bars because you have the top one showing what's open and then the left one's kind of showing your workspaces and your, your system tray. So let's come into here and I have an extension called, uh, what is this, extension list right here. This kind of shows what's enabled. So right now I have applications menu. This kind of, you don't really even actually need that. We can actually disable applications menu. Uh, that was more with me just tinkering around with other stuff. We also have a background logo. You can put a specific logo on your background. I have that disabled right now. Bing wallpaper. I mean, you got to have Bing wallpaper. <laughs> Sometimes I just do stuff to get people a rise out of those veteran Linux users. Throw some Microsoft in our Linux. Uh, and then we got extensions list, which is this listing. Game mode. This just tells me when game mode's active. We can actually change the settings of this and kind of see what's happening. Do we want notifications to show that we're in game mode? Uh, I like to just kind of have it in the bar. So I'll have uh, a little bit of an active eye content and then always show the icon in the tray. So then when this uh, game mode gets active, I'll see that controller go to green. And I kind of like that because I don't like game mode being on all the time as it will uh, 
you know, increased my power consumption. Uh, and then as far as anything else in here, the main thing that controls everything in Material Shell is this extension. And these are all GNOME extensions. And uh, let's switch some stuff up. I don't like that floating's on by default. I did that on purpose so I could switch it back to how I like it to maximize. I just kind of want to show it because most people will probably want more of a floating traditional layout uh, that you see here. And we'll kind of, you can see all these different ones. Uh, by default, I think the panel size, you can see the left panel and the top panel, these get uh, increased and decreased with this setting. And we can also change the opacity. So like, let's say we were like, you know what? I'm kind of feeling a little compositing going on. Maybe uh, let's, let's give it a lot of opacity and maybe do like a 50. And then you can see kind of what's going on in the background. It has a little bit of an opaque effect, which is neat. Session persistence, I don't really like on any desktop environment because it's trying to restore whatever you left your desktop. When I leave for the day, I am a big proponent, no matter what system, whatever you're in, I think you should close everything out and then just make it, you know, tidy up for the day. I, I think that's just a good practice. And those that just like lock their computer and walk away, I think are just monsters. <laughs> that's like the IT person in me coming out. Uh, so that's kind of how I like to do it. Default layout right now is on float. We're going to change that to maximize. So then uh, when we change this, all these will be on maximize setting. So then when we're opening and closing things, it'll always have the tabbed maximize approach. Uh, and if we look here, uh, we can switch this to maximize and this one right here is on float too. But you can always change this on the fly and it remembers kind of what you had in there. Uh, but by stock defaults, I like things left on maximize. So if we, let's just close out of these, go out, come back and launch steam. Yeah, okay, actually, uh, it, it did not keep that, but it will on reboot here. I think that just is a setting that you need to reboot your computer to get. So let's come back into our material shell. Is there anything else in here we might look at? Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, you can see float layout by by default. I kind of like the float layout sometimes uh, it, because some certain things you kind of need that float layout. I'm thinking like when you're in GIMP, uh, which let's try that real fast. There's a lot of sub menus in GIMP that are needed. So let's just type GIMP. Oh, I don't even have it installed. What the world? All right, let's uh, install GIMP. This is just kind of what I use for uh, my Photoshop alternative. Uh, I don't even like Photoshop anymore. I guess I'm just weird and I've completely switched to GIMP uh, as I've just, I even on Windows, I install GIMP. That's how weird I am. <laughs> but you know what? You got to try new stuff. So now we have GIMP. We'll open this up and you see that we have the maximize approach. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like when we go to open stuff, oh, see, they've already worked that out. So even in maximize window, it knows that GIMP has these sub menus and it's not trying to maximize these. A lot of tiling window managers have problems with uh, sub menus. Uh, this one looks like it's already worked out. So I kind of want to just showcase that as well. Uh, let's close that out. And it's kind of nice. It just grabs the icon of whatever's the main open focused app of that workspace and displays it on the left-hand side here. I, I'm going to rock this as long as I can and see how it goes because I am really enjoying this. And my last video, I showed the gaming performance of Fedora, which, uh, wow, it, it was really good. Out of the stocks defaults, I didn't really change anything. All I did was just come into here, uh, go sudo DNF installs Steam and hit enter. And it took care of everything for me and installed it and then i just used proton experimental and launched elden ring that was this last video and it had such great performance i'm just overly impressed with how far fedora has come since the last time i was on it it was the very first desktop uh, linux one i did on the channel back in 2018 when i initially started the youtube channel uh this was actually the very first distro uh desktop distro i really tried to daily drive uh for an extended period of time and I'm kind of back home and I kind of like it. Uh, I know it's been a long time. I've, I've loved Debian. I've loved Arch for what they are. And I kind of want to just kind of roll with Fedora and see how long I last with it because I have just immensely enjoyed how simplistic and easy this experience is. Uh, and even though I'm in GNOME, using this material shell actually makes me not hate GNOME, uh, mainly because I don't ever see it. And the thing I always liked about GNOME was the settings and tweaks menu and all the stuff that you get. So 
Here's an option for folks. I, I don't think I've seen a video really about Material Shell, and uh, it's just something I've used back in the day. I did a video on Awesome Window Manager, and the developer of it, Papo El Gringo, is developing all of Material Shell. So uh, the same developer from the original uh, Titus Pi, I think, is what I used for his initial run of it in Awesome Window Manager. But now I have it all here, so I, I just... Uh, I just enjoy the experimenting and it just makes me happy. Uh, I would still have Windows. I still have Windows videos coming up. Uh, I think I'm, the next one is going to be probably be like a seven mistakes Windows users make. And I already hear the comments. I already hear it. I already hear it. You hear that? Just use Linux. <laughs> Uh, way to scare off some Windows users. But anyways, uh, this is my just tinkering around. I still use all the operating systems inside. I've actually switched to Mac, uh, and that's actually going pretty well. You know, those Mac minis are really, really powerful, and I'm looking into, like, a sheet of Linux on that, too, which is going to be an interesting... Uh, Interesting video, too, coming up. So it, a lot of stuff happening. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, let me know. I'm kind of trying to get back into the video making process. So there's going to be a little bit more rougher around the edges, kind of like how I used to do it. Uh, but kind of increase uh, my output here is the main goal. And also kind of explore a bit more. Uh, again, let me know how I'm doing down in the comments section. Hit the like button, all the good YouTube stuff. And I will see you in the next one.